What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., <laughs> the Impact Builder. I'm hurting today, y'all. Uh, just finished my walk. Got it in. Brother broke it, but got a good sweat in today. So, uh, the sun ain't shining, but still got it in anyway. So, it, today is Tuesday. Wow. Tuesday. Tell the truth Tuesday. And we are we are at the end of July, believe it or not. We're at the end of July, getting ready to go into August already for this year, 2023. This is crazy. We're in the third quarter of, of 2023. Um, so I want you to take a look at your um, at your goals for for the third quarter. Are you you know are you are you on target for this month for July? Um, what is that you have to plan to do in August and September? That's what you want to look at. This is Tell the Truth Tuesday. Welcome to the welcome to the brand new suite. <laughs> to the brand new suite. You know where we, we we just we're talking about principles that will allow you to have massive success as an entrepreneur as a leader. Um, this week. What we've been dealing with, and I'm not going to be long today. I got like less than 10 minutes. Um, what we've been dealing with this week is the second week of uh, the 10 steps to massive uh, entrepreneurship and leadership success. Uh, that's what we've been dealing with. This uh, Yesterday, we, we talked about, um, we had number six, which was confidence. Having confidence. Having confidence. Today, um, day, day seven... We're going to be talking about practice, practice, <laughs> practice for all my athletes out there. Y'all know if you if you if you if you're in my generation, you know where that comes from. But uh, for those that may not be familiar with it, uh, years ago, uh, I don't know if it was the 80s or 2000s. I mean, in the 90s or t- late 90s, 2000s, when Allen Iverson was in uh, the NBA, and and they were questioning him they were i think they after a game and then the reporter asked him a question about him not reporting to practice and not being in practice and he said he was just like practice what are we talking about practice we, you, you all have all these questions you want to ask me about practice and and ever since then he's he's gotten he he got a <laughs> ring for that statement and it rings over and over again but the reason it is and the reason i bring it up and the reason that that we talk about it is because the importance of practice when you look at champions when you look at successful entrepreneurs you look at successful leaders what they do consistently is they do they do what they do very well but they do it over and over and over and over again and and when I played uh, basketball and, and football, one of the things that our coach, the coaches that I had, that they emphasized the way that you practice is what you the way that you're playing the game. So on this Tell the Truth Tuesday, as an entrepreneur, as a leader, what are you practicing? What are your day to day? Day, what are your day-to-day, let me say habits, but your day-to-day things that you do that are going to make you successful? I promise you, those that don't, those that don't have a daily practice routine or routine or system, whatever it is, they aren't successful or they won't be successful for long. So, and, and on the business side, as far as entrepreneurs and the leaders, what you should have developed in your business are daily systems and daily processes that, that you do. Not just you, but those that work for you, that work with you, they, they should be doing, they should have things that they should be doing on a regular basis so that they know the things that need to get done, how they need to get done, when they need to get done. That's how you become successful. Repetition is not a bad thing. 
get that when we talk when I talk about um, our daily lifestyle I always bring up um, coach coach Marcy with training and nutrition it's always about what are your practices what are you doing on a day-to-day basis in order to be able to get you where you want to get to I'm, I'm reading this book right now <laughs> I'm doing both I'm reading and I'm listening to it um, but it's called the 12 day year and and what the author talks about and I'll put the the author's name in the in the comments what the author talks about in the 12 day year 12 week year I'm sorry 12 week year 12 week year is is, is about doing having a schedule of daily things that you're doing if you're going to get to where it is that you need to get to so that you know exactly what you're doing every single day and you've got to do it over and over and over again that's what that's what practice is y'all <clears throat> practice is nothing more than becoming an expert at what it is that you do Every entrepreneur that wants to be successful, every leader that wants to be successful, must be willing to practice, must be willing to put in the work to be successful. And the only way that you put in the work to be successful is by practicing. That's every single day getting up and practicing what it is that you need to do, whatever that routine is for you. There's the homework. Hey, Doc. Good morning. Have a great day. Every single day. Monday through Friday. 8 o'clock or 8 o'clock-ish, I'll say. I'm out the door walking and coming back doing my video to you all so that I, I contribute, hopefully, to making you 1% better, but I also contribute to making myself, my business, and my brand 1% better. But that's practice. That's practice. That's doing it. That's, that's understanding what, how important this is to me, how, how, how I prioritize doing the, the things that I do. Understanding that my day... That there are things that I do every single day. I've got them written down in my lifestyle planner. I know what I'm doing, what what I'm usually doing, you know, around each time, each day. Because I put it in my daily plan. So it becomes what I practice. What I practice. What I practice. What I do. Because I promise you, if if that's if you practice success, you'll achieve success. If you practice mediocrity, you'll get mediocrity. Take a look at those that are average. Take a look at those that are successful. And I promise you. The difference is what they practice. Give you an example. Um, Allen Iverson tells a story about him and Kobe Bryant. The uh, the Lakers are in Philly to play the uh, the, the six. Allen Iverson picks Kobe Bryant up, for, I think from his hotel or from the airport, one of the two. Um, so they, you know, they he's like, well, what are you ready to do? And, you know, Alan Iverson was about to go party. He was like, you know, we going out. He said, what you about to do? He said, I'm going to go, um, you know, go work at a gym. And then Alan Iverson said, he looked at him and was like, what? Yeah. He, Kobe Bryant, was focused on fine-tuning his skill so that he could be who he became, which was Kobe Bryant. Allen Iverson 
did not see the importance of practicing like Kobe did. The difference is Kobe has five rings. Allen Iverson has no rings and only went to the finals once in his career. That's the difference between practice and 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 massive success. Forgot to put the massive on there. If you want massive success, you've got to be willing to put in massive practice. Second example, Kobe Bryant again. Jay Williams talks about how one time his team, I forgot who he was playing for, they were in, I think, in L.A. to play the Lakers. So he said he went to the gym to get some, get a workout in before, you know, a couple hours, several hours in before the game day. So he gets in the gym, Kobe's in the gym already, and he's working on one particular shot the whole time. Just one one shot. He's practicing one shot. And he said he was in there. Jay said he got his workout in, which was about an hour and a half or two hours, maybe something like that. And so he said he left <laughs> and Kobe was still there. And so they played that night. He said they played later that night and Kobe dropped, I think he said like 35, 40, something like that or whatever. And he said he had to ask him. He had to ask Kobe Bryant. And he said he went up to Kobe. He said, man, he said, you, he said, uh, you know, you were practicing earlier. He said, you know, you were there before I got there. You were there after I got there. He said, Kobe told him, he said, yeah, I know. He said, but I wanted to let you know that no matter what you do, you are not going to outwork me. <laughs> so as an entrepreneur, as a leader, are you going to put in the work, the practice, all of those things in order to have massive success over everyone else? Because the difference between you and them is going to be the amount of work that you put in. And Mark Cuban said this thing. He said you want to. He said you work as if somebody's working twenty four hours a day to take your your brain from you. Work work as if somebody is working twenty four hours to take your brain from you. You'll never be outworked. As an entrepreneur, you should never want to be outworked. And you should spend each day practicing as if someone is trying to outwork you. Magic Johnson talked about that all the time. Him and Larry Bird competed all the way, all the way through the 80s. But Magic said he was always watching to see what, Matt, what Bird uh, did. And he wanted to make sure that he was outworking Larry Bird. As an entrepreneur... As a leader, don't don't let others outwork you. You gotta have that mindset. You gotta have that mindset that no one is going to outwork me. There's no one who's gonna work harder. There's no one who's gonna work longer. There's no one who's going to practice more than me. Practice harder than me. That's what that's what greatness is. Greatness is practicing when nobody else wants to. Practice, practice, I mean, greatness is practicing when everybody else is finished. Putting in those extra reps. Putting in that extra time at work. Putting in the, the extra work to give that client not only what they need, but giving that client what they exceeding their expectations. That's what massive practice is about. Massively practice over delivering. I'm going to say that again for you. 
practice massive over delivery for your clients. That'll get you to massive success. See how that works out for you. See if that doesn't make a difference between you and and, and the other uh, entrepreneurs. If you're in a mastermind, challenge. Challenge that mastermind to be the hardest worker in that mastermind. Outwork everybody in the mastermind. And it'll be, I, I promise you, it'll become infectious. I promise you it'll become infectious. I didn't necessarily like Kobe and and, and Michael Jordan's um, approach to practice and their approach to, you know, to lead it being leaders. But for them, it, it, it worked or was effective to a certain extent. I don't think very many people like them, their teammates like them during that time. But they, you can't deny the results that they got. So today, today, it's massive practice. What are you going to do today that's going to separate you from other entrepreneurs, other leaders, and in, in what they do. It's gonna be how you massive practice. What's that? Take a look at you. That's your homework. Take a look at your schedule. Take a look at your schedule and see if what you're doing is consistent every single day or if you find yourself jumping here jumping there doing this doing that where you aren't in a routine those that are massively successful those entrepreneurs that are massively successful have a routine have a schedule they have practice because they do what they do every single day so it's your boy Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. told you I wasn't going to be long today. We're talking about the 10 steps to entrepreneurship, leadership, success, to massive success. Let's go out on this Tell the Truth Tuesday and let's have, let's incorporate massive practice into our daily, um, daily routine. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all soon. Have a great day.